Hello. And good spudning or something. Anyway, uh, it is time for, uh, for Mr. Cow's thing here. So, uh, looks like we got a take on the Invincible AC from before. Uh, actually, it would have been really cool to see the full Invincible AC. I guess he didn't... Um, yeah, I guess he didn't get names for some reason. Uh, we got an alternate version of the uh, of the Sea Shutter. No orbits, I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, looks like we got a version of the Tempest. Um, hmm. An interesting uh, chain gun howitzer build right here. And the God Slayer. Alright, cool. Let's give this one a go. Yeah, those crows not going to help you much right now, I'm afraid. Actually, you know what? Might want to keep those around in case all this other stuff isn't enough punishment against this thing. Alright, Invincible AC. Let's do this thing. Also, I don't know why they didn't all have cow names. I'm assuming they had a whole bunch of pun names and they didn't feel like putting them in or something. Or maybe they did come with names. I don't know. Uh, cows was a very uh, last minute addition, uh, from what I understand. Alright. Actually, we're going to go lights for the moment. I kind of want to mess up his aim with these. Let's just spam ya. There we are. And that's what the lights are for. You don't really see them much in these uh, videos, but they're basically just there for distraction and extra ammo kind of thing. Tank, you're kind of a sitting duck here, although, man, friggin' god, that defense. He's constantly on fire, and this just does nothing to him. Oh, man, I'm already expecting all of the, uh, you've gotten rusty and lost your edge stuff from, uh, the TBM one. <laughs> <laughs> I never had an edge. The potatoes were round. But no, it's been, like, two months. I think I've mentioned that already. It was, like, two months. Like, literally, back on... Right when I got back from my birthday trip was the last time that I actually did one of these. And I'm in a bit of an afternoon rush, so we'll get to the... Uh, we'll get to the, uh... Like, competent, deathless run later. Such is life. Right, come on, you. I already know what you're gonna go for. You have exactly one option. Actually, I should have checked if he has napalms. He might. Might have been something to look at earlier, huh? Oh god, it hurts. It hurts. Make it stop. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, this thing carries a bit of a punch now, doesn't it? They're gonna be coming around that corner. It'll be moving around the corner when it comes. It's got a whole boatload of pain when it comes. I think it's out of ammo. That makes it kind of harmless. Now I was wrong. There goes several buildings. Oh man. Friggin' contractors, this place must be either frustrated or rich or both. Alright, Tempest, let's do this thing. I think I need all my goodies for this one. Actually, maybe not these. Oh, wait a moment. You know what? Just a moment here. Need to go make sure this thing isn't burning. Okay, stuff has not burned, and I should probably fast forward that if I actually remember to. Oh well, moving on. What's going on here? Right, this guy was providing pain. 
Okay, this is not the kind of thing I would have expected. He's actually going for a full-on bum rush here. <coughs> okay. It's a good fight, but... I should slow him down a little bit. I've seen a few like this in the arena before. It's a very, very strong strategy, but uh, it all depends entirely on their angles. Which in this case, thankfully, have been kind of like the other ones, so we got a little bit of practice in it already. As long as that howitzer doesn't hit, this is all fine. Again, uh, I think I mentioned this a fair bit last time, but this build's main weakness is exclusively when it comes to stun things. So any stun weapon is going to absolutely demolish the rocket build. Um, you know, such is life. Alright, we got the Jagan, so this looks like an alternate version of the Tempest. I know, I know. I'm comparing everything to AI builds he's made. He's made a lot of ACs. But, uh... I'm just basing them based off the, well, my own AI arena. <laughs> it's kind of confusing that there's two under the exact same name. I considered calling mine like the friggin' Potato Cup or something a while ago, and then it just sounded weird, and then apparently that's actually some kind of coffee company for some reason. Then I found out the coffee potato thing is actually also a coffee company. I'm like, you know what, screw it. Apparently everything I've ever thought of is also a coffee company, so... Yeah, I don't know what this guy's doing, by the way. He's trying to get at range, but he's not doing a fantastic job of it. Also, sorry for rediscovering sniping competence at this point. Okay, never mind, he's getting a solid burn. He might get me here. Come on, keep that cool one running. Cool on overdrive. Now, however, that actually works. If you're just going to hop back and forth there, um, I'm just going to bombard that area until you're done for. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to last a few more seconds here. That is what he said, I guess. Nope. Unfortunate. Hmm. That last minute failed, though. Okay. Now with less fail. Come on, now. Bring to me your cows. I will say, other than that one there, although I guess it technically didn't run out of ammo. Uh, his ACs have been pretty stocked for a bit of a long fight. Alright. Let's corner lame you a little bit. Soften you up for the sake of saving time. Again, going for a like, full legit deathless run, whatever, later. But for now, the lame is acceptable. That should be it. There we go. Rude. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not it. Oh, I'm already dead. Alright. And final one. A God Slayer. Okay, so you're going to be one of those hyper-aggressive ones, I guarantee it. However... Also means you're not super big on stun, unlike that other guy, and uh, should also be pretty lameable in the corner here. Not this run, but maybe next one. Should have gotten here sooner. Yeah. Or maybe that might be it. Actually, yeah. There we go. 
I was expecting him to get me, but he did retreat. A lot of the AIs do have a tendency to retreat in this corner in particular, for whatever reason. But at any rate, there we go. There's those ones done. And, uh, yeah, that's all of uh, Mr. Javelin's AIs beaten with rockets. Maybe not the first one, maybe not Deathless just yet, but, uh, yeah, in time. In time. Actually, in time, give it, like, two days. Anyhow, um, see you next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.